Hey everybody, Todd Bartusek with Berkshire Hathaway Real Estate and the All Metro Real Estate Group. So coming to you again with a market report and obviously, so we're doing March. And again, this is for West Side as a whole. Um, this is the overall. So we had a jump from February to March in the number of units sold of 61%. We went from 18 in February to 29 in March. I'm not totally surprised by that because February was super cold. March, you know, that's a lot of times when people do equate March to spring, um, you know, and people just start getting out. Now, we also saw our prices jump from 349 in February on an average up to 399. So that's a 14.6% uh, increase overall. So, um, and I'm going to get into that when I talk about the other price points and the segments uh, in a minute. So. Um, our first segment that I like to talk about is the uh, first time home buyer price point. So we went from 13 units in February to 18 in March. That's a 38% jump. And we actually dropped in price a little bit. This is actually surprising to me. We went from 279 in February down to about 254. So that's 9%. And what I equate to this was I have seen a lot of houses get listed in that 220, 240, 250 range. Okay, so our move up category that we do is zero to 350. So we're just getting more of them. So, um, but because we did, I mean, we're up 39%. We had five more deals in March than we did in February in this move up. So um, this will not be a trend. The trend will continue to slowly but surely start to move back upwards. So that's the move up, or excuse me, that was the first time home buyer. Now we're gonna talk about the move up. That's 350 to $750,000. So we had five deals in February, and we had eight in March. That's a 60% increase. So pretty consistent with the first time home buyer market. Um, our prices dropped about 8% here also. So we went from an average sale price in February of about 530,000 to an average sale price in March of about 488,000. Again, same thing. We, I saw a lot of four and a quarter, four fifties, um, you know, so then that pulled that average down, um, you know, but this is also opportunities for a buyer. Like if a house is not, if it's not selling, it's, it's, there's, there's two reasons. It's either the price and or the uh, condition of the property does not match the price. Okay. And so your buyers are very shrewd. So if you're a seller listening to this and you want to get top dollar, there's things that you really have to consider. You have to consider the exterior, you know, because it really, it all starts at the curb, right? We got to get people in. If it's not, if it's not compelling, it's not going to be selling. Okay. Then we got to go inside the house. We got to figure, okay, do we need touch up paint? Do we need carpet? Do we need countertop, you know, replacements, whatever the case may be, but that's how you achieve top dollar in this market. You know, it is an active market, you guys, but the district 66 buyer typically, does not have to buy. They typically already have a house and they're just waiting for the right property or the right lot or the right price um, before they make their move. So um, very, very important. Um, so that's the that's the move up. Now the last category that I always talk about, that's the luxury, 750,000 and above. February, we had none. That's the first time since I've been doing these market reports in two years that we saw no actual transactions in the month of February. Um, March, we had three for an average sale price of a million thirty-five. That average list price was a million eighty-three. So came down about 50 grand on the uh, list to sale price and average days on market, 36 days. So that doesn't surprise me because when you get up over a million dollars, you got a lot less buyers and properties don't generally fly off the shelf. Um, so really what's going on in the market, you guys, like I just mentioned, it's active, but the houses have to be conditioned properly, they have to have the right pricing strategy because the cardinal sin in real estate is if you price it too high and you sit and your days on market increase, you're going to sell for less than market rate. Because remember this, there's no more accurate phrase in real estate than this right here. The market always sets the price. Okay. You cannot underprice your house. The market will not let you. If you underprice your house, the market will tell you because you'll have multiple offers and it'll push it up and over list price and nine times out of 10 up and over market rate. So if you guys have any questions about the strategies that I've talked to here 
um, you know, even how we actually market and achieve top dollar for our clients homes. Last year in 2023, we outperformed the MLS average by 2%. And when you're talking about a house, especially a District 66 house, where the average is $400,000, well, right there on the low side, that's $8,000 that clients that listed with the All Metro Real Estate Group sold for $8,000 more than the average. So put my 24 years in the business to work, call me with no obligations for questions, strategy, referral, if you have an aunt, uncle, grandma, grandpa, whatever the case may be. I'm here to help, lifelong uh, Westside resident. Um, you know, let me know what I can do to help. If you like all the data that I'm providing here, please remember to follow me on social media and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.